descendants of Issachar. The four sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimrin. The sons of Tola were Uzi, Rephaia, Jerel, Jemiah, Ibsim, and Shemuel. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. At the time of King David, the total number of mighty warriors listed in the records of these clans was 22,600. The son of Uzi was Israel. The sons of Israel were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishia. These five became the leaders of clans. All of them had many wives and many sons, so the total number of men available for military service among their descendants was 36,000. The total number of mighty warriors from all the clans of the tribe of Issachar was 87,000. All of them were listed in their genealogical records. Descendants of Benjamin. Three of Benjamin's sons were Bela, Bika, and Jediel. The five sons of Bela were Zben, Uzi, Uzael, Jeremoth, and Iri. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors from these clans was 22,034, as listed in their genealogical records. The sons of Bika were Zemra, Josh, Eliza, Leonai, Omri, Jimoth, Abijah, Anatoth, and Olmoth. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors and leaders from these clans was 20,200, as listed in their genealogical records. The son of Jediel was Bilan. The sons of Bilan were Jush, Benjamin, Ahad, Kanana, Zethan, Tashish, and Ishaha. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. From these clans the total number of mighty warriors ready for war was 17,200. The sons of I were Shabim and Habim. Hashim was the son of Ahur. Descendants of Naphtali. The sons of Naphtali were Jezeel, Guni, Jezer, and Shilem. They were all descendants of Jacob's concubine Bilhah. Descendants of Manasseh. The descendants of Manasseh through his Aramean concubine included Asriel. She also bore Makir, the father of Jilead. Makir found wives for Herbim and Shabim. Makir had a sister named Maakar. One of his descendants was Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Makir's wife, Maakar, gave birth to a son whom she named Piresh. His brother's name was Sheresh. The sons of Piresh were Olam and Rakim. The son of Olam was Bdan. All these were considered Jileadites, descendants of Makir, son of Manasseh. Makir's sister Hamlikath gave birth to Asod. Abiza, and Mla. The sons of Shemida were Ahin, Shechem, Lyki, and Anim. Descendants of Ephraim. The descendants of Ephraim were Shatela, Bud, Darhath, Alida, Darhath, Zabad, Shatela, Zah, and Elid. These two were killed trying to steal livestock from the local farmers near Gath. Their father, Ephraim, mourned for them a long time, and his relatives came to comfort him. Afterward Ephraim slept with his wife and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beri because of the tragedy his family had suffered. He had a daughter named Shea Era. She built the towns of Lower and Upper Beth Horon and Uzan and Shea Era. The descendants of Ephraim included Raphar, Reshif, Tela, Dahan, Laden, Amhud, Elishama, Nun, and Joshua. The descendants of Ephraim lived in the territory that included Bethel and its surrounding towns to the south, Naradon to the east. Jizah and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its surrounding villages to the north as far as Ayar and its towns. Along the border of Manasseh were the towns of Bethshan, Tanash, Mijurdo, Dor, and their surrounding villages. The descendants of Joseph son of Israel lived in these towns. Descendants of Asher. The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Biri. They had a sister named Sira. The sons of Biri were Heber and Malkiel the father of Bizath. The sons of Heber were Jephlet, Shoma, and Hotam. They had a sister named Shur. The sons of Jephlet were Prazach, Bemhal, and Ashvth. The sons of Shoma were Ahi, Roga, Habar, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam were Zephar, Imna, Shalesh, and Amal. The sons of Zephar were Sua, Hanefer, Shrul, Bri, Imra, Beza, Hod, Shema, Shulsha, Itran, and Beirira. The sons of Jether were Jephunai, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ola were Ara, Hanil, and Rizia. Each of these descendants of Bashar was the head of an ancestral clan. They were all select men, mighty warriors and outstanding leaders. The total number of men available for military service was 26,000, as listed in their genealogical records.